Welcome back to Make, Build, Modify. I'm Justin, and today I'm doing a, an apothecary style cabinet made from a treadle sewing machine drawer set. I was commissioned to do this piece, and I decided I wanted to kind of recover as much of the machine as I could for other projects. And originally the design was going to be for wood a wood box to hold the, the shelves, but I thought it'd be too cool to be able to do a cast iron outer kind of bracket to hold all the shelves. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing a countersink on the cast iron so that the bolts will fit because I have to run the bolts on the from the outside in because the shelves are going to be mounted on the side that they were never intended for. So now I'm just aligning them and I'm looking at the top level of the shelf to see where I have to cut that cast iron. And I decided to cut it just above the the word domestic on that cast iron because I wanted to keep that logo for another project. So this is just a rough cut right now. I'm just using a, a cutoff wheel and it, it's pretty soft metal being cast iron. But I have to come back and find the actual precise cut so that the top of the box is mounted and level and lines up with the shelves. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put the shelves back on and I'm going to kind of see where the top is again and and find out right where I need to cut that cast iron to, to make the top line up perfectly. So I'm just using a straight edge to find the top of the shelf to make sure that when I put the, the cap on there it doesn't stop the shelves from coming out. So I determined that uh, I think 16 and a half was the height and I just paralleled that. I really like the silver sharpie markers on black, really easy to see. What I'm going to do is take those marks over to the disc grinder and grind right up to the silver line. So that's why I'm lifting that up endlessly. I'm looking at the silver line and checking, grinding and checking, grinding and checking. This is uh, just removing some of the black paint so that I can weld tabs on that will eventually be where I fasten the top. And here's the little tabs. These are just little square nuts that I found in my selection of hardware. I'm just cleaning them up a little bit so they'll take the weld. And in this shot here, I'm just tacking them on. I came back and did a little bit bigger weld on them. Um, after testing, I, I needed to put a, a slightly larger weld on them to keep them from pulling away from that cast iron. It's tricky welding up against cast iron, but for a, a cabinet top, they're fine. And I'm just cleaning them up here so that they won't rub against the shelves. They were sticking out a little bit, and so kind of reduced the profile a little bit. Now I have to keep the bottoms from spreading apart. So I'm going to drill some holes in the lower two shelves and pin them together with a block of wood. So I'm just running countersinks so the screws will flush down because this is right where the shelves slide. So they have to be below the level of the shelf slide. And this is just to keep the, the lower legs from spreading apart. The top of the shelf is going to keep the top from spreading and this is the only thing in the lower area that keeps it from spreading apart. This is just a scrap from the treadle machine and I'm going to just cut a notch here to make room for the ribs on those shelves. There it is. I did that over on the table saw.
I try to reuse the original screws from the machine whenever possible when I'm doing this kind of work. So now I'm just doing a test fit with the drawers, getting close to the final product. I have to size up the top. I've got um, basically what is the top of the, the treadle table that I have to work with. And there's only four corners on that table that look decent. So uh, I have to cut the corners off and then pin them all together to make the lid for this. So now I'm going to use a, a biscuit joiner and I'm just going to make reference lines for where I need to cut the notches for the biscuits. And those are those little football shaped pieces of wood and uh, I put those in and glued those off camera. Um, I also used uh, pocket hole screws in the bottom to pull it together and there's the last little bit there. All glued together with wood glue. So now what I'm doing is, is checking to see if the overhangs correct everywhere. And then I pull those drawers out and I'm going to mark where those tabs are. And then flip it over and install the screws. So the cast on this has a little bit of a twist to it. I ended up putting little rubber feet to protect the desk or floor wherever this is going to be sitting. But I also adjusted the feet so that the, the one foot that was a little bit proud of the rest was just ground down a little bit. And it worked out great. And there it is. Turned out great. I think. I've got a list of tools and materials in the description. And if you liked the video, please consider subscribing. Thank you.